So hypertext markup language. What does that mean, Dave? Why do we care? Well, because it's actually kind of cool. Uh, so hypertext markup language uh, is actually a really accurate description of what it is, just like text for TXT, right? Uh, so hypertext refers to the text itself. Uh, we have a bunch of text, and then we have that text marked with uh, certain specialized markings that indicate to the browser what type of element this is. And so we have the markup language, which is all the special characters that we wrap the content in to tell the browser what that content is about, what it's for, how it works. Made up of elements surrounded by tags, as we briefly mentioned, but that's all easy to say. What's an element? What's a tag? That's right. The whole thing is we're new, right? So let's go over it. Uh, so this is an example of a tag. Uh, if we look back at our code, popping back over here into our index.html, and please do do this. If you haven't already, break open that uh, browser, have yourself some fun here. We're going to go exploring. So we have uh, tags. This here is a tag. Here's a little handy insider tip. This is a, a very common convention of a lot of uh, code editors. This right here will collapse an element. So we've got our opening tag, and then we've got all of the content that's inside of that element, and then we have our closing tag. Sometimes that's kind of hard to find the closing tag, so I can just hit this and uh, bam, there it is. And you notice 13 and 40. So you can see those haven't actually gone away. I just don't have to look at them right now so I can see, okay, I did actually close my opening tag. Good for me. Uh, but that's what those are. That's an opening tag and a closing tag. And everything that happens between those two tags is going to be considered part of that element or a child element of that element. Put a pin in that. We'll get back to that concept in a minute. It'll make more sense soon, I promise. But the basic gist is we wrap the stuff in the descriptor about it. This tag basically tells the browser what part of the page this is supposed to be and how it's supposed to work.